Hi, we are going to continue our stock right valuation for this chapter 7. Okay, so uh, previously we have stopped uh, at number of shares to be sold or the formula for number of new shares whereby you have to uh, calculate by using funds needed divided by the subscription price. Right, so the next is the value, the value of the rights. Okay. This uh, value of the rights uh, also can be uh, referred to as the market price minus the X right price. So you have to take the market price and minus the X right price over here, the PE, PEX. Or if the question is asking you uh, the value of the rights, or referring to the REX. Okay. REX is the X right price. Okay. We also call it as the X, X right price. X right price. Sorry. X right price. But for this case, uh, only if uh, the rights had been exercise okay for this case value of the x right price rax only if okay only if the rights okay uh, had been sorry the rights has been exercised okay sekiranya rights tadi dilaksanakan okay maka uh, the formula that you have to use, okay, uh, the formula that you have to use is, please refer to the textbooks whereby we can use equal to the PEX, right, minus the subscription price and divide by the, sorry, divide by the number of right. Divide by the number of rights. Okay. Or I'll put it over here. Divide by the number of rights or N. Okay. okay. If the, S, uh, the question asks you to calculate the Rex or the X right price only when the rights had been exercised. Hanya bila rights uh uh, rights itu dilaksanakan, di exercise oleh shareholder. So, kita nak value of the rights. So, how the value of the right kita uh, boleh calculate dengan uh, menggunakan PEX, the X right price tadi, minus subscription price and then divide by N. Okay, so a uh, very rare, the questions will ask you to calculate this one but sometimes uh, it could ask the this uh, kind of question. Okay, next is the number of additional share. Number of additional share equal to number of the shares that being hold by the shareholders. Okay, uh, number shares uh, by the company and then divide by N plus plus 1. Okay, divide by N plus 1. So, you will get the number of additional shares hold by the investors. Okay, for number of rights to buy the common stock uh, for this one, so N, uh, the number of the rights to buy the common stock for one uh, one share or one uh, a unit stock F, uh, as they have, you have to take the total book of uh, value of the outstanding share and then divide by new number of common stock that will be issued. So you will see how many rights available for these uh, investors okay and normally this is the popular uh, questions as well number of rights or n okay number of rights or n so how you uh, calculate number of rights or n just take this uh, number of all share number of all shares and then we will divide by Number of new, number of new shares. Okay, and ni apa? And ni sebenarnya adalah uh, jumlah right yang diperlukan 
untuk kita uh, beli satu unit share yang baru. So, berapa rat yang you perlu ada? Okay. So, uh, ambil jumlah number of old share bahagi dengan number new shares dan you akan dapat tahu berapa jumlah rights yang diperlukan untuk kita beli satu unit share bar baru. Okay. That's the formula. So, let's take a look on the questions for you to uh, understand uh, the questions or the topics further. Okay. For this one, the example 3, Perwani Company plans to raise uh, 50 million through the right issue. So, company ini mempunyai plans untuk menambahkan uh, dana. The, so, the fund needed yang mereka perlukan adalah 50 million. So, this is what we call the fund needed or the initial outlay yang diperlukan. So currently the company's common stock are selling at RM5 ringgit per share. So what is this? This is the market price. So this is the MP or MPCS. Okay, you can uh, uh, abbreviate as both. So I'm going to highlight this in red color. So this is your MP or the market price. Okay, earlier this is your fund needed. So, this is your fund needed. Okay. Funds needed. So, this is your fund needed. Okay. Um, for this question. Right. So, the uh, the management has agreed to uh, set the subscription price at RM4. So, this is your SP. Okay, this is your SP. So, this is your SP, the subscription price. And the EPS is 50 cent. So, right now, the Perwani's company uh, partial balance sheet is this one. So, this is its uh, balance sheet. The information that we have is the total book value of the common stock is equal to 100 million. Premium is 50 million, retained earnings is 75 million, and stocks holders equity is 2 to 5 million. So the first question is, it asks you to calculate the number of new shares to be issued if all the rights were exercised. So sekiranya semua rights study dilaksanakan, maka, so what are the number of the new shares? Alright, so... To uh, find out what is the number of the shares to be sold ataupun jumlah new share baru tadi. Still remember in the formula, okay, it refers to this one. So, it refers to this one. Number of new shares to be sold equal to funds needed or IO divided by the subscription price. So, you do know the um, funds needed adalah 50 million. So, this is the funds needed. What is the subscription price? RM4. So, uh, the one that we are going to divide over here is 50 million divided by RM4. Ringgit. So, how much will you get? 50 divided by 4. Alright. So, try to calculate this one. And then, you will get how much? Yes. 12 point million shares okay so the number of uh, shares is 12.5 million sorry 12.5 million or you can write it like this one okay okay uh, shares right so uh, this one right so, you will get 12.5 uh, million shares. Okay, 12 juta 500 ribu unit share, shares yang uh, menjadi jumlah share baru. Okay, uh, so how you will get uh, by uh, dividing the fund needed, okay, divide by the subscription price or S or SP. 
uh, it's up to you nak guna yang mana just the same one right so this is the 50 million divided by 4 ringgit so you will get to 12.5 million shares so this is the correct answer okay second the number of rights required to buy new share berapakah jumlah rights yang diperlukan untuk kita beli satu share bar Rule. So, this question is actually asking about N. Yes. Okay, this question is actually asking about N. Okay, dia tanya N. So, over here, number of rights or N adalah number of old share. We have to divide by number of new shares. Okay. So, for this question number 2. Okay. So, how much is the number of old share? So, macam mana kita nak dapatkan jumlah share yang lama? So, take a look on its balance sheet. Right? So, total book value-nya adalah 100 juta. 100 million. So, nak dapatkan jumlah share, kita kena divide by its par value. Par value. Okay? So, 100 million divide RM1 ringgit par value. You akan dapat 100 million units of share over here. Okay, so you akan dapat 100 million unit of share. Divide by jumlah share yang baru kita calculate tadi. The new shares adalah 12.5 mi million. Kan dekat sini kita dah calculate. So, how much is the 100 million divide by 12.5 million share? Right? Yes. You will get, okay, you will get 8 right so jumlah right yang diperlukan adalah mm, 8 okey jumlah right yang diperlukan i'm highlighting this answer adalah 8 right okey 8 right so your n equal to 8 okey so number 3 the x right price of the stock ah so uh, this uh, Questions is actually asking you to calculate the X right price of the stock or what we call as P E P E X. Okay. P E X. Right. This is the P E X. Okay. The X right price for the stock P E X. So how to calculate? Uh, we have to take the market price of the common stock times N. Okay. Uh, and then plus the subscription price. And then you have to calculate this one first. Calculate this one first. And then divide by N plus 1. So N plus 1 ini adalah formulanya kekal. Maka, so you have to take a look on what is the uh, market price. Selling market price is RM5. So, RM5 over here times 8. Jumlah N yang kita dapat tadi adalah 8. Maka, 5 darab 8 tambah dengan 4 subscription price. Okay, calculate this one first. And then, bahagi dengan 8 plus 1. Okay, jangan lupa divide by 8 plus 1. So, berapa yang kita akan dapat for X right price or PEX? Yes. So, you will get RM 4.89. Okay. So, you akan dapat RM 4.89. So, this is your answer. Okay. For the X right price. Okay. So, still have uh, the number uh, 4 and 5. So, this one I will uh, let you know in the next coming video.